So many times patients will come into my office complaining of shoulder pain and maybe even a sense of a slipping of the shoulder or a looseness of the shoulder. Even times patients will come in after a traumatic injury such as a football or lacrosse and the shoulder actually dislocates. Oftentimes these are different types of injuries. Some frankly aren't even injuries, they're just overuse phenomenon that over time the shoulder can stretch out. A true traumatic dislocation creates a labral tear about 85% of the time. Those patients, the younger you are, unfortunately has a much higher risk of remaining unstable and over time each dislocation you have is easier and easier than the next causing trauma each time it dislocates ultimately requiring surgery. On the other hand, patients that come in, oftentimes swimmers, overhead athletes, sometimes more often in females that we find have what we call increased ligamentous laxity. These patients create a slow stretch of the shoulder, if you will, doesn't always tear the labrum, but they also will feel a sense of instability or looseness in the shoulder. Both of these injuries can oftentimes respond to therapy, but if they don't, surgery is successful in the vast majority of patients.